little pro tip is get you a little ruler. And you see I'm sitting right there on the one inch. So I'm gonna put this here and you can see it's on the one inch mark. So then if I just come around here, I can do and I can see the one inch right there. Yes, it's backwards, but you can still see it. So I'm gonna put it on the one inch. Make sure my corner's one inch. Just like that. Then I'll put that in. And then I can pull off a long strip. Come over here to this one inch. Sit on the one inch right there. Push that down. Double check. Yep, one inch. And then put this around. And that's it. And then just keep on going all the way around it. So what I have is a two-part epoxy. So basically, you want to pour in there, and I always do it by volume. Don't don't put it on a weight scale and say, okay, one fluid ounce and then one fluid ounce. Don't do that. That's wrong. Put it in here. If you do eight ounces, then put eight ounces of part B in here. Now mine, read your directions. My directions is pour them both in there and then pour it into one container, stir for two minutes. After two minutes, pour it back into that container. Stay that for two minutes, then it's ready to go. I can pour it. I'm going to be pouring this in steps because there's an inch. I don't want to do it. I want to cover it, and I'm going to mix in some turquoise so it looks like the ocean. Make sure you get the sides, baby. There, like that. Yep, go all the way around. There you go. Amber's helping me. She's home. Fancy baby. Yep. So she's home. We've got, it's eight seconds left. So I'm going to move you back here. That way I can pour. And you can see. There you go. hours and you can see the effects that it has
so I got it done. Zeus, so we're drinking water again. Watch him lay down. There he goes. Lazy. So anyway, I thought I'd bring you closer in, just in case the camera angle you couldn't see. Try to get you a little bit better. So basically, I just wanted ripples around the animals. Getting ready to do another small pour. Do it in steps. But first, Boris, I promised you I'd give Zeus some a treat. So here it is. I'll chat him. I'll turn it around. Zeus. Come. Zeus. This is from Boris. Say thank you, Boris. You going to say thank you? All right. There you go. And just like that, it's gone. So where's my next treat at, Daddy? All right, I want to go back playing now. All right. Let me, uh, let me get to, uh, starting this up. Does it get your approval? Please. Does it get your approval? Huh? Does it get your approval? 
I'm gonna put my finger in the way. So you suck, Daddy. YouTubers, hello. Well, if you made it past the 15 minutes, that means that you're here, you, you probably are interested in epoxy. So I thought I would give you a, uh, a couple little tips, if you will, or helpful hints or whatever. The first thing uh, that I wanna tell you about it is make sure it's level. Uh, just because the, the level the it's in between the lines the bubble is on a level don't make it perfectly level for epoxy so don't be fooled by that um a little tip i can give you for that is get yourself like a cooking pan a, a, a cook baking sheet you know cookie pan and uh put a little water in it and set it where you're going to put your thing and and uh, where you're going to put ever what you're working on and make sure that it's level the second thing uh what I had to do, the seventh pour just got done yesterday. Uh, today's Tuesday, by the way. Um, the reason being is because when I did the calculations and I did it on three, three separate charts, calculations, um, it was 1.16789 or three, two, bunch of numbers. So I know it's one gallon and 0 0.250 is, you know, a quarter of another gallon. And I had a gallon and then I had 16 ounces left over. So I thought I might have enough, but I didn't. So I had to order some more. And I get it off Amazon, by the way. I use this epoxy because it's, it's great for clear. I don't have to use any buffing compound. I don't have to use uh, any polishing paste or nothing like that. I mean, it's crystal clear, as you see, it's, it's, you know, it's good epoxy. You want to make sure that you pour it in small stages as well. So don't pour the whole, don't pour the whole thing. Uh, because what can happen is it can crack. It can leave a lot of bubbles. I've seen a lot of problems. So those three things, make sure it's level. You know, uh, make sure that you have enough epoxy. Uh, it's always better to have more than than less. Uh, and the third thing is, uh, is uh, I forgot what I just said. I forgot what I just said. Just choo. Any of y'all know what I said because y'all watch the video. I don't know. But anyway, this was a fun project. Uh, I like doing it. I'm gonna do another one. Um, uh, working with epoxy is easy because you you have such long time span. Oh, I'll tell you another little tip. I'll tell you a fourth little tip. Make sure that you don't do this stuff outdoors. Now I have cats, I have dogs, y'all know that. So I cover, I cover it up. So that way nothing, nothing gets on it because if you have the uh, the ceiling fan turned on or, or a regular fan or, or or even the vents, you know, your air conditioner, stuff like that, uh, it can throw dust particles. It can throw higher in it. Now, that's the only great thing about epoxy is it takes so long to set up that what you can do is you can take a little uh, ice cream stick or tweezers or whatever and pick those little hires out of it because it does take like four hours to, to, to soft set 
And what I mean by that, it starts getting rubber, but if you if you remove the, the tape or the wood that you have, then it'll just slowly come down. Uh, but about seven, eight hours, you can remove it. Uh, but it takes three days to actually fully harden. So uh, that's about it. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate everything that y'all do. Uh, much love. Y'all take care. See you.